All right. Well, being a, that it's 7.05, I'm going to start our waltz. Um, if you haven't met me before, my name is Kat Fitzpatrick, and I am a proud new member of the Albany Pinebush Friends Board. And we've been doing these socials to help us keep connected during this time of COVID. Before, when, it, when I just first started, we thought of doing something at um, Swifty's Pub. I was so excited about that social. So these are a, a uh, alternate that we're doing. And with the holidays coming up, I had the idea that maybe it would be fun to do some window shopping. I know we're all tired of doing things from home, but we're hoping this evening you can enjoy some of the gifts that are in the gift shop and some of the stories from those people that uh, help provide us with exciting and um, authentic gifts. So we will be having Vicki from the gift shop, Nan and Dave Wilson with their card prints and they have a new reveal. Henrietta Oberg with her um, jewelry and a variety of gifts that she do does create, as well as Carol Sousa and her jewelry. Um, Jody and I will be showing you some beautiful uh, phot uh, photographs from Mari Bannon, who he's generously um, donating to us. And um, you can order through the Friends. And then we'll have Penny Vavura, who's going to speak a little bit about what the Friends are. And if you're not a friend already, maybe you'd like to become one. All right. And so we are going to cut right to Vicki at our gift shop. Hi, everybody. Um, I, I want to talk about two things in particular before I dance around the, the gift shop. Um, the first is Museum Store Sunday. Museums across the country and around the world um, participate in this. It's an opportunity to support your local museums, um, community um, organizations. Uh, there, there's a website, um, so feel free to Google it. Um, a lot of the museums, some museums are closed. Uh, some museums, their gift shops are closed, but they're really dependent, unlike the Pine Bush, um, they're really dependent on money coming in through the gift shop to stay afloat. So there's several in the Albany and Schenectady area that belong. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is, is um, our local um, artists. So I'm very excited the three of them are here. Um, so let's get moving. First, oops. I put my hands, the, um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how best to do this. Uh, the, the sale uh, for Museum Store Sunday will start on the Sunday after Thanksgiving and continue through the end of December. Uh, so you can do some shopping before and after the holidays. Uh, we've got these shirts um, by, by Alice Burnett. Her artwork, this is the same artist that did a lot of the artwork in the um, Discovery Center. Oops, and there's, there's another one. So I've pulled these all over to the, um, the corner here and marked what sizes we have left. Also on sale right now, the Bernat t-shirts and every sweatshirt from the cute little animal ones. I took the one off the off the, the thing. So I've got bears. Very cute. These are toddler sizes. I've got kid sizes and I do still have a few adult size sweatshirts. Um, many of you have this one. This is the last one and it's a 2X. Um, but that's my last adult hoodie. So I'll be working on getting some new ones, but not for the holidays. Uh, let's see, artists. Well, let's start with the jewelry. You're going to meet Carol Sousa. I'm trying to, yes, there. Um, this is some of Carol's work. I've got, I still have a selection of her earrings. And also um, in the case, I've got a couple of her necklaces. There's one, here's another necklace and earrings. Um, she does, and, and there's the one, my favorite, the one with the bees. 
Uh, and I will, I do hope to get in some matching earrings for that one and some of her other work um, before the holidays are over. Uh, so I'll be working on with her on that. Um, we also have Henrietta beautiful artwork is, let's see, yes, I, this is working. Um, I have a few of her bird nest earrings and necklace and, and one bookmark left. So uh, all of our, our jewelry, all of it is locally made. Um, some very local like Henrietta and some uh, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania and other parts of upstate New York. So I, I've got beautiful, beautiful jewelry. Julie, who makes the uh, glimmer glass, was not able to join us tonight, but those have the Discovery Center um, tree with all the little animals. Can everyone hear me okay? Nod your head. Yes, okay. Yes. I didn't yeah. know how well this would work with the phone. Okay, um, other artists. Well, I wanted to show you um, Discover the Night. Whoops. I got to get my directions right. There we are. Discover the night. These really cool glow in the dark key rings. So um, the people that pick up the, the packages for Discover the Night will get these, but uh, Wendy gave me some to sell in the gift shop. So that's exciting. I only have a little bit of the, the, the stained glass left. Some of you have been collecting this the past couple of years. Uh, unfortunately, she's unable to make stained glass anymore. So these are the last of the stained glass. So come and get it. I also have um, from our photographers, the, the magnets. Oops, looks like I went, there I am. I still have a selection of magnets. Um, starting museum store Sunday. This is this is the big reveal. The hats. Um, people love their hats. They come in many colors. Uh, so the, all the Pine Bush logo, the Albany Pine Bush Preserve logoed hats will be five dollars off as are the sweatshirts and the t-shirts. Um, I've got children's books. I've got lots of fun kids things under $5 in the baskets. The, all the bags, the, this is a Native American, a local um, Iroquois woman um, printed her, her turtle on some bags for us. We still have a couple of those left. They will also be $5 off. Uh, the cinch bags will be $5 off. Um, a favorite part, this is the artwork. Um, I've got quite a few of Nan's cards. You're gonna be hearing about Nan's work and I've got some of her prints and some of her larger prints. Can, uh, yeah, and also her posters. I've got posters here. There's one, there's the butterflies and there's the wildflowers. Uh, also, we have the cards from the photography. Oh, looks like we sold some. I have got to fill in the empty spot. Um, so we still have some cards left from past photography exhibits. Not many from last year because we didn't get as many in, but I still have some. Um, lots of books. You can't go wrong with books for Christmas gifts. And then toys. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, the, here's some more of the ceramics. I don't think I pointed out the ceramics. I've got two ceramic artists who are local, who, who have their work featured here. Um, I've got lots of toys. The wooden toys, this is one of my favorite companies and I tried to get John Gallagher to join us tonight. Um, the wooden toys are made in Middlebury, Vermont, most of them. I think everything on this, this shelf, the trains, um, they do beautiful work. And we've got some custom items uh, as well. And then let's see, the glassware is from Pennsylvania. So we still have lots of glassware, which I also need to fill out. I, was, I wasn't here last week, so uh, some shelves need some restocking. Uh, Folk Madness puppets. 
and is my 10 minutes? There's the bell. Yeah. I, yep. I, I knew I had to be getting close. Oh, let me just. <laughs> That's yeah, perfect. I walked most of the way around. And I there's, know. There's the pottery. There's uh, this. And you, yeah, there's some pottery. There's another one of the beautiful bowls. Um, Susanna presses leaves into the clay and cuts them out and forms her bowls. And I, I love her work. So, oh, no. there, my dance is complete. Thank you so much. Oh, and I, to our whole audience, I, I did forget to say that we have questions. Yeah, and Jody put that in the chat. So if you can click on the chat, if there anything Vicki showed you, you have a question about, um, you can go ahead and type it into the chat and Jody will collect it and help us facilitate that at the end. Because um, there might be a lot of questions. Next up, we have Nan and Dave Wilson to talk about the cards and prints and their new reveal. Hello. I unmuted. <laughs> Can hear you just fine. Okay, good. Thank you. Well, I'm going to head over about, it's about six feet behind me where I'm going. <laughs> Can you see me? Can you hear me over here? Yes. Good. Yes, uh, we can. Yeah. Well, I am really delighted to be here and be part of the whole friends community and the pine bush. Um, I've always, I loved the pine bush. We were living in Rochester and uh, I used to come here with friends. They're, they're butterfly fanatics like myself. And we would come for a weekend and just walk the trails. And it was wonderful. And it inspired a lot of my art. And I especially love insects, like butterflies, dragonflies. I don't know if you can read any of this, wildflowers. And we have a camp in the Adirondack. So it also blends in what I see here and what I see in the Adirondacks. It all comes together in my art. and. Uh, this is one of the paintings that I did that I made into a sign. But what is really special to me is this is what I see when I'm walking in the pine bush. And when I used to come visiting from Rochester, this, the sandy trails, the beautiful winged jewels flying through it and perching on the plants. And the plants are also interesting. Oh, this was one of my earliest life cycles that I painted because I'm interested in the whole insect, just that one little area. So here, you probably can't see it, is a caterpillar with an ant on it. This is the chrysalis. And uh, you can see just the whole pine bush scene there. And uh, to me, that's what I see when I'm out there. And then I think you saw the uh, poster, it comes in two sizes, a large, a super large size, a middle size, and this 12 by 16. And uh, this is a special frame that I think really sets it off. Uh, I, I like that a lot. And I've got, um, you saw them on her wall. These are the, uh, uh, this is the Adirondack Acre from our camp, this is what was growing outside uh, my door. And my kids were little, and so we would crawl around and look at the different plants. And it was whatever interested us and appealed to us. And I did these in color pencil. Uh, so this was quite a long time ago. They're, I don't have the originals anymore. Uh, they're in the Blue Mountain Museum. And uh, but I did, I did make um, note cards from it and I have prints that I sell. And the butterflies are butterflies of the American Northeast. And I don't know how well you can see them, but what's interesting to me is I tried to put together all my art, some of my photographs, and I combined them here. Uh, for instance, the, you can see them from my paintings. There's the Carner Blue. And I always feature the host plant because it's all about the plant that the butterfly uses. Uh, and I combined 
I can't, I can't even remember how many butterflies I have in here. And I combine them according to the plants they use, which ones use similar plants. And down here is the, uh, a write-up on which describes each butterfly and gives some, a little bit of information on their host plant. And there's also something you can request if you're interested in this. Uh, and it's a supplement that tells more in detail about the butterflies. And uh, people really seem to like it. And it's great for kids because they can say, oh, I saw a white butterfly. And you can, they can come to here and they look at the white butterflies and try to remember it. So it's, it's, it was a labor of love. <clears throat> I had a great time painting doing, putting all this together. So I do a lot of graphic work as well. Uh, <clears throat> and I also really like uh, to put all these into note cards, but right here is, uh, these are three of our butterflies. I don't know how well you can see them, but they, um, I put them together. I thought it was kind of interesting. These are all butterflies that fly in the northeast and they overwinter here. They overwinter in bits of bark or hidden somewhere under the eaves of a tree, um, of a roof. And uh, so I've got each one showing the upper wings and the, the, um, the ventral wings. And right here is a little white silver, uh, like a crescent. And this is actually called a comma, a comma butterfly. There's also one called a question mark, which has this little uh, crescent with a dot under it. So if they close their wings, you know, and these are all called angle wings, and we are lucky to have them in the north. Uh, imagine them overwintering, they'll come out flying on a warm day, even like very, very early spring. Uh, it's a, a treat. And these are in my note cards as well. And uh, you can see some of these. This is the American Painted Lady. And, uh, and it's a whole life cycle it's from my paintings. So I take my paintings and I uh, turn them into note cards. I sell them as prints. I think Vicki showed you some. It's got the caterpillar and the chrysalis. And on the back of each card <coughs> shows, tells about the butterfly. And uh, I think it's kind of interesting to add that. And sometimes I have a little painting there too. You've got, yeah. Um, and what I did next during COVID, oh, th so here's how you see the, the posters. Uh, and over here, this was my COVID project. Things were quite slow in, in the work department. So I thought, I'll just do a fun project. So this is what I did. That's a, from a monarch. These are, I made, I painted on canvas, on canvas totes. So I was painting and having fun. And then I thought they were kind of cool. Uh, and I thought, I'll just make some prints on them. So these are like uh, t-shirts. Uh, heat transferred prints that I've made up. You know, can you see these all right? Yes. Oh, good. And this, I'll bring this up close. I'm making these little bags and some of them I dye myself. Some are, I have bought. Um, and just kept them the same. But for instance, can you see? Can you see that all right? Can you come a little bit closer, Nan? Yeah. All right. There you go. That's great. These are mess messenger bags, <laughs> but I turn them into like little purses or something, and uh, they can have very different looks. They have a long crossbody strap, so you can wear them like this, or you can um, just wear them over one shoulder because of the long strap. And for my granddaughter, I tied a little bow, bow in the top to make it her length for wearing. And I think it's kind of fun, just a monarch chrysalis and uh, one of our best butterflies, most gorgeous that we see flying here, the tiger swallowtail. And each one will have um, 
a tag on it telling man that's about the butterfly mm -hmm. thank you so much that's about the time we have for you maybe you can show that last one let's show this last oh, one. oh it's so gorgeous and so I have these wow. in all different colors. And some of them, as I say, I hand dye. So they're very subtle. All right. Thank you. Thanks for visiting my living room. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. And we'll, um, everybody will update you on how you can access the uh, Discovery Center at the very end. We'll have um, Vicki announce the uh, times. And if you have any other questions about how to access any of these products, we'll put it in the chat and we'll. All right. I'll hang around. Oh, good, good. Yes, please do. <laughs> All right, and next up, we have Henrietta Oberg talking about those beautiful bird nest jewelry um, pieces, as well as a few other artwork uh, pieces that she'll be showing. Welcome, Henrietta. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for having me and asking me to do this. Um, I feel very honored as well. And I love that um, my bird's nests are in the pine bush. Um, while we've been sitting here for a little while, I just made this um, bird's nest ring. Um, uh, just came into my head and I did it. Um, typically they are pendants, so necklaces. Um, it comes with the necklace part. And I also do have pins. I don't know how well you can see that. There it is. Um, I do any kind of bead that um, someone prefers. Um, I love custom orders. That's definitely my jam. Um, I will give you a sneak peek of my, um, my table in front of me. I typically don't do that, but I would love to do that tonight. Um, I wear this ring often. It's a like wire just I don't know how well you can see it. And um, so obviously I love wire. I love beads. Um, I make most of the jewelry that I wear. Um, I work with um, real beads, like real um, crystals and stones as well. I don't know if you probably can't read that, it's backwards, like citrine and aquamarine and um, rose quartz and amethysts. Um, I have wine charms. These are $2 each, and then you just order how many you want, what charm you would like to have, and what colors. And these fit at the bottom of a wine glass. So that's something I feature or sh you know share with people. I love being outside. Uh, I'm a Norwegian, and we um, spend a lot of time outside. I love trees and I love the moss and I love the pine bush. If I'm gonna go for a hike beyond my um, neighborhood, I love going there. So it's um, perfect to be an artist for them as well. So I make these trees of life and you know, the earth isn't completely round. I mean, granted it doesn't look like this, but the ground isn't completely flat and and uh, so typically you see a lot of um, trees of life that are a complete round circle and I, I'm, I tend to put a lot of quirkiness into my art. Um, I like things to be unique and you know this ring that I just made like it it just kind of happened. I didn't plan it. I didn't um, I just sat with some extra wire pieces I had here and I just started making it. Um, I also make um, Bird's Next um, bookmarks in two different sizes. And then I love essential oils and working with them. So I designed, um, there's many places to get essential oil bracelets and, and um, jewelry, but um, I designed earrings and different colored bracelets. And what you do is put the essential oil on the black stone and it is a lava rock. So it um, soaks in the oil and stays for quite a bit of time, most, most of the day. Um, I also make them in necklaces. I just don't have those right now. So as you can see, I can make anything to any size. Um, I love 
um, eccentric things. Just someone wanted an Egyptian bracelet. So I went out and found some odds and ends of different um, Egyptian things. And this is what I've made. Um, I do have a website, but uh, I also am on Facebook. Uh, that's backwards. So it's Etta Maid is my business. And um, I prefer working through email and talking directly with um, a client because then I can really get to know what you want and need. So the big reveal, I will show you real quick. Um, turn around, here we go. So I have just lots going on here. Um, I love working on different things at the same time. I oop, there's dinner. <laughs> I kind of um, dabble back and forth between projects. Um, I also paint over there, and I also sew. So there's a shirt that needs to get sewn up, and um, so I, I have a lot of fun just being creative and doing, um, oh, I wanted to put you back on me. There you go. Uh, doing fun things um, mostly gets me um, excited to uh, create something for somebody when they have an idea and don't know how to do it or, or whatever. So I definitely love creating with people. Um, what else, anything else? I have lots of, I, I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so we'll, we'll wait for some questions at the end. I, really quick before you, we uh, go, you, um, so you take custom orders then, is that like your main? Yes, people can that's contact what I prefer. You? I used okay. to do shows um, many years ago when I kind of first started just to get myself out there. And um, uh, it's a lot of work and, um, I found that at a show, sometimes people would say, oh, if it were just a little bit longer or shorter or mm -hmm. blue or whatever. So I said, I can do that. Let's do that. So I would take people's info and get back with them, you know, after the show. And that's how it's kind of morphed into that. So oh, great. do you want to, yeah. um, why don't you type your uh, email into the chat too? Uh, okay. That way then. So thank you so much. That was very You're welcome. Fun thank you so much. Space. Oh my goodness. Um, all right. And with that, now we are on to another studio with Carol Sousa. And she has quite a bit going on in her studio as well. Hi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I put my jewelry up and um, they have uh, a lot of my earrings. Uh, you can see there's a few earrings there. And um, I make everything on, um, well, almost everything on the riveting press. And this is it, it's, it's an antique. And I can show you I, I, how I make a simple little earring. You know, my son said, you shouldn't do that. It'll look too simple, uh, but that's okay. <laughs> um, I take a rivet and put it on, on um, this thing here. And then I have this um, post, uh, uh, it's like a, a washer with a hole in it, just a regular washer and then a post. And I put it on the, uh, on there, on, over the rivet. And then here's the setting and the setting comes with a little hole in it. And then I um, put that on and then rivet. And there it is, it's a little earring. Um, and they do have some like this at, at the um, book bookstore. This is a little more complex. Um, I studied art. Uh, I uh, have a Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from Mass Art. And I, I taught art for a while at um, the Museum of Fine Arts School and the Art Institute of Boston. And um, then I had uh, a baby 
it was a while ago. And uh, I was uh, stuck at home and decided I'd start making jewelry. Um, and um, at that time, uh, I don't know, it was like in the 80s, everybody loved jewelry. So it was easy to start a business. I would make something and then I'd go into the um, campus center at the University of Massachusetts and like 10,000 students would walk by. It didn't cost anything to have a table and they would buy things because, you know, there wasn't anyone selling jewelry at that time. Uh, I mean, you know, it wasn't as like China wasn't uh, around then. And I, I did very well uh, through the 80s. Um, uh, I started wholesaling and uh, selling to stores. Boutiques had a wonderful um, uh, period uh, at that time. There were a lot of boutiques happening. I did shows in New York, like the boutique show. And um, it was just so exciting. <laughs> um, and then, um, you know, things change. It's a long, long history. Um, and uh, after a while, I started doing shows retailing and then um most recently selling to museums which is really nice and has been very helpful to me except now with covid that's kind of not happening so much in fact i do have an order for the mfa but it never got filled because you know it was due in april um uh so you know it's it has slowed down a bit so i started um painting a little bit just running out going out and um, going into uh, nature. I'm having a really good time doing this. I guess they're not really showing up that well, that's okay. Uh, but I'm really having a lot of fun during this uh, little break, getting back into painting, which is what I majored in. And a lot of my work is very, it's very colorful. Um, I really, you know, it sometimes I get kind of lost in the color and it takes a while to make something. <laughs> uh, it, so um, um, having a painting background helps a bit because uh, um, I, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's so um, in engaging getting the colors right. Uh, with the riveting press, I, uh, I can make all kinds of things I've found out over the years and things got mighty complex, such as you can see this maybe, it's just a lot of rivets and a lot of um, chain and a lot of uh, these sticks um, that I put together and it gets pretty complex and takes a while to make some of them. I've also done rings, which is kind of fun. And you know they were just adjustable, um, and uh, they're kind of uh, interesting the way they um, they put together a lot of different stones, one right one next to the other, um, and they have been popular. I think Vicky has uh, this kind this earring. There's just so so many ways. Uh, this one, this is one. Uh, I guess it's pretty hard to see this, right? Um, this is one without the stone, so you get an idea of how it can get kind of complex. And then um, the um, pine bush also has some of this jewelry, which is like with the um, uh, findings from Rhode Island that were created probably in the 20s. And um, they're uh, dragonflies. And because it's a nature uh, museum, uh, this makes sense. I also have these little uh, bees, which are very popular. And, um, you know, these little bee, uh, well, I think she has one actually, the, the little bee um, necklace. Um, so uh, let's see. Um, I can uh, I can show you some of the variety of things I've been doing. Uh, these are uh, kind of a little bit summery, but you know, summer's coming. That's when the pine bush is really uh, busy. These are kind of like moonstone. Sometimes I use vintage stones. Like um, what happened is that Rhode Island was really the center for costume jewelry 
um, back up until like maybe the 1970s uh, when everything kind of moved uh, to China and various other places. So there's a, there were a lot of things that I found uh, at these different um, places in Rhode Island over the years. And uh, I have quite a little collection of vintage um, stones, um, like, um, oh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, maybe not. Uh, these are like ribbed, they're, they're glass. Oh, and one of the things I do to create the color, I, um, I frost, I take a glass stone and then I, I frost it in sulfuric acid and that creates this, um, this kind of glow. Uh, it has to be a stone that has a gold backing though, or else the backing just falls off, but the gold stays on. And um, they, it, it just gives it a much more interesting look, a matted look. And I think it looks nice with um, when they're mixed together like that. Um, let's see what else I have. Oh, here's, um, I'll just throw, you know, a few things up there. There's some pastels. Some of these stones, um, I just buy them and they come in already matted. Um, and, but most of them I actually do frost myself. Um, and I, and I work, uh, with uh, some semi-precious stones wow. like um, these are opals embedded in glass and then uh, some uh, power shells and um, you know different things like that some of them are old this is, I only have a small collection of this snake skin it was made by an artist and uh, then they went out of business that happens you know yeah, um so they're just so great thank you so much for sharing them do you have any last ones that you wanted to show there's a oh. different one with the love oh, stuff yeah. hanging on <laughs> yeah i did a whole lot of things over the years but this is what i'm doing right now thank you so much thank you fascinating i'm glad you showed us how that rivet works it's yeah yeah a very impressive piece of equipment <laughs> <laughs> all right and now we have a bit to show from um marty bannon who has been in our pine bush perspectives this um slideshow thanks to jody for making it it features five different um photographs he took in the pine bush. We have the sumac, beautiful holiday colors there. And the next one is our, uh, I love this trail, pine, win pine bush winter. I think it was um, Nan who said she likes those tri the paths there. And all of these are going to be on a, on a, um, neutral mat. So Jody did a great job of framing them, but then the mat will be neutral. Along the bunny trail did win the Pine Bush Perspectives People's Choice Award and an honorable mention. A gorgeous shot there. And I love this one, the chipmunk staying alert. And all of these are going to be um, printed on, oh, I had it right in front of me. Jody, do you have that? Um, it's at the end, well, the sizes. There'll be one size with uh, matting. And I think the last one, oh yeah, this beautiful capture of a Carner Blue. This is really, I think, the most vibrant one I've seen. And do we have, so those are the five prints. And- Go back through them one more time, just so everyone can take another look if they- Yeah, want. so we have the three wintery ones and two summery spring ones. So if you're interested, um, they're going to be, oh, do you have the final slide, Jody? I sure do. Hang on one second, Kat. So they'll be printed and uh, matted and then delivered to you if you live in the local area. Um, although Don did offer to drive to California, if anybody from California is interested in ordering. And they'll be, so it'll be $50. The print will be 11 by 14 and it will include a mat. And when you email us, the email is info at pinebushfriends.org. In, include the quantity 
the name of the print, and you see there the chipmunk, sumac, pine bush, winter, bunny trail, or blue for the Carner blue butterfly. And again, Marty has been so generous as to offer, um, he's giving us the, the images for free. And so all the proceeds will go to benefit the Friends of the Pine Bush. Um, and while we're here, I'll just remind you that the Museum Store Sunday begins the 29th after um, Thanksgiving and will continue all the way through the end of December. And we have those special items with $5 off and all the other good stuff that, um, that Vicki so nicely showed us. So with that, we are going to move on to our very own friend, board member, Penny Bavura, who's gonna tell us a little bit more about what the Pine Bush Friends are all about. Thanks, Kat, appreciate it. Um, this, is, uh, this has been so great to see all of these wonderful artists and all of their beautiful work, but for the person who is tough to shop for, I might have a solution for you. Um, so I've been with uh, friends of the Albany Pine, uh, the Pine Bush community for about a year now, and it's been a wonderful experience, and it's so exciting to see all the um, things that are being done. Um, even in the face of COVID, uh, we've been able to help support the commission and the commission's works. Um, so we wanted to offer the opportunity that if you have that hard to shop for person on your gift list, you might want to consider joining the Friends of the Pine Bush community. Um, so we have three levels where you can join. There's the $15 level salamander, the $25 level box turtle, or the $50 lupin level. And so uh, there's a variety of benefits that you can get, um, whether you're near or far. So you can show your love with your Albany Pine Bush bumper sticker or perhaps your patch. You know, if you're thirsty, you might want to indulge in your pine bush. Sorry, it's backward. Um, but then we also have our um, trail guide for everyone as well uh, for um, higher level membership. So what you can do, though, is you can go to the website, albanypinebush.org, um, go to friends, and then you can sort of level down to donate, join, renew gifts, and you can sort of see what level you'd like to either for yourself or for someone that you love. Um, but really, it's a wonderful way to support the commission, the commission's works through the Friends. Uh, and we've done some wonderful, wonderful things. Uh, historically, uh, provided opportunities for underserved youth to come to the Pine Bush to get out in nature. Uh, we've also been able to support the monthly science programs that are now virtual monthly science programs. Um, we've been able to help the commission purchase land to help the Pine Bush grow. So there's a lot of great ways. It's a win-win for everyone. So I would just definitely encourage people to think about those people on their list who, who, who might, you know, might not like the right color or the right size or the right that sort of thing, and consider being a friend of the Albany Pine Bush. That's it. Any questions? Let me know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Penny. And uh, that was really great. I love the mug because those are <laughs> recent recent addition to the uh, the benefit. Exactly. And um, yeah, so I think all of us love the pine bush so much, and what better way to to uh, just share it and grow it that way? So thank you. No, yeah, my pleasure. Can I oh. say one thing? Yeah. The ten percent discount. Oh. If you're Definitely. here or a friend of the Pine Bush or, or staff, you get 10% off on top of the $5 off for our sale. Yeah, so that is, that's really great. All the good stuff we just saw. Um, awesome. So that concludes our formal program. Are there any questions, Jody? There are a few questions that came through. Um, first of all, Vicki, can you share with us the hours the gift shop is open? If you have any special days where you'll be closed due to the holidays. Okay. Uh, yes, we are open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So Thursday and Friday, 9 to 4. And Saturday and Sunday, 10 to 4. But we do close now from noon until 1 o'clock to sanitize the exhibits. So other than, okay, the days that we are closed will be um, Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Eve, and Christmas Day, 
and New Year's Day. I believe those are the only days that are scheduled this year. We sometimes do a staff event, but, but that's not gonna close the Discovery Center this year. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Next question is for Nan, if you are still there. Yep, you're muted. You just have to unmute yourself. Hi. Okay, the question for you is, in addition to colored pencil, what other types of media do you create with? Ah, it would be hard to find one that I don't use. Oh, wow. <laughs> I work in a lot of different media. Uh, watercolor is, is part of my series. I, it's Everything's in watercolor, the butterfly life cycles. And uh, so that's a lot of fun. I had to learn all about watercolors. Um, I painted oils and just, you can name it. Now I'm painting on tote bags and that's acrylic. So any other questions? I think that's it for you specifically. Um, okay. One that came up, Vicki, that you might be able to answer and Nan um, was from Richard was um, to come into the gift shop um, just to highlight again what product from each vendor you have available, um, Vicki. The three that are from here? Alice, yes. Okay. Um, I only have a small selection now, but I hope to get more in over the next few weeks from all three of you. Uh, I don't have Nan's bags yet, so we have to talk business on that. Um, but I've got several of her cards and prints and the posters. Uh, for Carol Sousa, I have quite a few earrings and two, three of her necklaces. Um, so we'll, we'll be restocking that as well. And with Henriette, I have only a few. At the moment, I only have one pair of earrings, three necklaces, so four necklaces and um, one bookmark. But this week, I just got the go-ahead to start restocking. So I'll, I'll start with my artists first. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, I also just wanted to, I know Henrietta was able to share her um, business card. But if all three of our artists would like to share their contact information, if there's anything um, that our participants have questions about, or if they'd like to place the custom order with you, what's the best way for them to contact you if there's an item that's not in the gift shop? I did put Henrietta's um, email address in the chat. Um, so that's there. But if you all three would maybe want to just briefly share the best way to get in touch with you if someone would like to place a custom order. Carol, do you want to go first? And then we'll go Carol, Nan, Henrietta, just like a quick one minute. Oh, you are still muted, Carol. I'm sorry. Mute. Okay. There All right. <laughs> I um, let's see now. There's I have a few things on artisan gift miss, which is um, like a craft show. I have a web. I do have a website, but uh, there's no pricing. I don't usually uh, retail, I usually just wholesale, but, and that's SousaJewelry.com. And that has a few pictures, like a lot of, you know, a lot of the things that I make that I showed are on there. Uh, it's just style numbers. You can email me and I'll tell you how much they are. Um, and uh, let's see, I, um, yeah, so it's uh, SousaJewelry.com or Carol at SousaJewelry, S-O-U-S-A-J-E-W-E-L-R-O-I. I always spell jewelry because I used to spell it wrong. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. And I can make things, I can custom make things also. Within reason, within reason. <laughs> Thank you, Carol. Nan, do you want to go next and just quickly tell folks how they could contact you if they'd like to order anything? You are muted, so you'll have to unmute yourself first. <laughs> the joys of technology. Nope, 
still, there you go. You got it. Okay, now we're good. All right. Um, this is my monarchs flying, migrating, but on the back of my cards is the information. So why don't I just hold that up? I don't know, can you see it? Can Wait. you put it up? There you go. Yeah. So um, it's thistledownstudio.com where you can reach me. I do live in Albany, right in the pine bush. Um, can you, can people, can you see that? All right. Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I do uh, like the tote bags, which are totally new. In fact, I'm still putting them together. Um, each one is different. It's one of a kind. So I can't say, no, I can reproduce that exactly, but I can come up with something similar. It might be a little different color or whatever. So perfect. Thank all, all my art is, except all the new pieces, is on my website. So if you go into thistledownstudio.com, uh, you can see a pretty good range of what I do. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. And I just put um, Carol and Nan's uh, websites in the chat for anybody that's looking. Henrietta, do you want to quickly just share yours sure. again? Thank you. Yeah. Um, so I read that I'm not backwards. I want to wait for the thing. <laughs> um, so it's edamade.bigcartel.com. Um, it's, I'm, I'm, have a gallery on there that um, shows pretty much maybe 75% of things that I've made. Life got busy a couple years ago with bigger kids. And um, well, it's always busy with kids, let's be honest. And uh, so I kind of took a, took a break from the online portion. Um, I am on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, but I I'm not a fan of um, Instagram or Twitter. My daughter's actually going to start um, being my secretary for that. And, but I do work through Facebook um, and the uh, edamade at gmail.com. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I think we just have, actually, Henrietta, while you're there, hang on. I've got two questions from. One for you, one for Vicki. This is from Darwin. Did you make the Viking helmet with horns on the shelf behind you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got that at a Scandinavian festival in San Francisco when we used to live there. It has braids. I love that I've never, I've never seen one without, with the braids. So I love it. Um, it just cheers me up. <laughs> like also my maraca pen, anytime I just need to like, chill out for a minute because it, it, it does get stressful you know you want things to look a certain way or you have something in your mind um and you know it might not go the way you want so like I I wrap wire rock you know rocks with wire like you see sometimes and they fall out or you know sometimes you just need a break so I try to keep it um playful and and happy or I walk away <laughs> <laughs> It's super fun. Thank you. Thanks for the question. All right, Vicki, you're up again. This okay. is a question also from Darwin. Do you postal mail items from the gift shop? I do not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we've talked about drop shipping and they're looking at some possibilities with certain vendors who have set themselves up during this time especially for the museums that are closed, you know, that where people can't actually walk in to shop. Um, a lot of our vendors are starting to do something they call drop shipping, which means you would order them through the store, but, but they mail them directly. I have not set up that with anybody yet, but it's something that we're talking about. Super, thank you. Yeah. And I just wanted to make sure all of our panelists saw you have a very nice note from Don Allard, which is our friend's president that said, you guys are all amazing. Vicki, you're included too. <laughs> and then I had one last request. I believe I'm hitting everything here. One last request to show the photos from Marty Bannon. So I'm just going to share my screen one more time. If you can hang on one second. Okay. Oh, there's Carol's webpage. Let's get to Marty's photos. 
And Kat, feel free to hop in if you would like to to speak. And if not, I will do it and that's fine. Oh yeah, no, I can just go ahead and yeah, again, these, thank you so much to Marty for reaching out and offering these. Um, and we did, he's taken so many beautiful photos and these are the top five we felt that would work. So I think the first one up is that beautiful sumac. Um, for some reason, I'm not advancing. I'm sorry. There we go. There, yeah. Just makes you want it to snow some more, doesn't it? <laughs> sure. And then we have the um, beautiful trail, pine bush winter, which is gorgeous. And along the bunny trail, which was that winter, so cute. And our friend the chipmunk staying alert on the green trail and this brilliant blue. So again, those are available through um, info at pinebushfriends.org and just state how many you want. Um, they will be that specific size. I'm sorry, I, my short-term memory is just gone. I believe it was 11 by, um, what was the dimensions? Jody? They're 11 by 14 for the print. And then that includes a 16 by 20 mat. Thank you so much. Yes. I'm hoping when the pandemic ends, my short-term memory comes back. <laughs> I'm, not <laughs> all for, I'm not at all certain, however. Thank you so much. And if we don't have any more questions, oh, and it's there in the chat. If you want to see it in print, um, you can click on that. Jody put, oh. I think I just did that actually not to everybody and I should have. Hang on one second. So she's going to put that in there. All right. There we go. So I think we've covered everything. The Walter the Gift Shop and the lives of some of our best artists. Um, if you end up having any other questions, you can um, feel free to call Vicki at the Gift Shop. Like she said, she's there quite a bit. Um, and definitely Tuesday, I mean, Thursday, Friday, nine to four and Saturday, Sunday, 10 to four with the break at 12 to noon for cleaning. Um, and we won't be having a friend social in December. Hopefully you'll be doing some nice socializing with your family via Zoom in the pandemic um, and staying busy and safe and healthy and warm. We will uh, have announcements what is coming up in January. We also will be putting out a um, a survey or a, a um, doodle poll about a book that we can all read together and discuss in February. Kind of an exciting prospect um, that we could all get together and share some of the loving, the love that we have for nature and the pine bush. So unless anybody else has anything to add, that concludes our program for the evening. We just had one last comment from Richard Naylor. It's just saying, great job, everybody. So thank you again great. to everyone who spoke tonight. did a lovely job. Yes, thanks to everyone who came. Thank you, Carol, Nan, Henrietta, and Vicki. All right, and we will see you all again after the holidays. Thanks for joining, everybody. Have a good night.